So get this, I was on Amazon the other day looking for some new camera batteries. I know that's not very exciting, but something I do quite a lot. And a golf ball kept getting recommended to me. These golf balls, Tricks and Distance. Best selling golf ball, Amazon choice, best pick for sports. Like why are Amazon pushing these golf balls so much, the Tricks and Distance? Honestly, I couldn't get away from them. So naturally, I thought I'd buy some and see what all the fuss is about. £10 for a dozen golf balls, so it's pretty decent. They are distance golf balls, so in this review, we're going to see how far I can hit these golf balls. Also, I'm going to test them around the green, see what they like for durability, spin. And you know this wouldn't be a Rick Shields review, ball review, if I didn't chop one in half. So to get things started, I'm going to play a couple of holes for warm-up holes, and then see what the big drive is behind these golf balls. Are they any good? And can I hit them a mile, considering they are distance golf balls? Let's go and find out. Okay, so that's a couple of warm-up holes done using a Titleist Pro V1, which is a ball that I typically use. Let's get to the next hole. Let's unbox the Shrixen ball and see what it's all about. Okay, Shrixen distance golf balls. Like, why are these things doing so well on Amazon at the moment? Best selling this and top rated. I've got a couple of theories. I mean, I'm excited to test the golf ball. I think the first couple of things is just the box. I mean, it's simple. People are looking for a golf ball, they want distance, and that might be one of the big pulling powers. It might be the fact the price. Like the price is £10 for 12 golf balls. It's a decent price for a, a branded golf ball name. People know Shrixen. I mean, the box is fairly standard, what you'd expect from most golf ball boxes. And the golf ball itself, like I have seen these balls before, it's a nice golf ball like that looks just as good as most golf balls that you would test. And my last point, why I think they do so well, is the simplicity of it. The red box, like you can't get too confused about that. Okay, let's go. Let's play golf with this Shrix and Distance golf ball. That's what I'm gonna do first. I'm gonna play this par five first, just to get a, a general idea how it feels. Then I'm gonna play the par three next to see how it feels with the irons and see how much spin I can potentially get. Because again, with a distance ball, it doesn't claim to get loads of spin, so let's see what that does. I also want to see what the durability is like. Like, is it, is it cheap, therefore does it get scratched up? And as I mentioned, this would not be a Rick Shields rev ball review if I didn't chop one in half. And then finally, the big test. We've got my GC quad, got a load of tricks and distance golf balls. Does it do what it says on the box? Does it go a long way? Well, let's find out. 13th hole at Marriott Worsley Park. It just requires a really good tee shot. There's a bunker just in the distance there that I can just make out. I can't reach that, but that would be my perfect line. I've got my new driver in the bag. I'm intrigued to know what this sounds like as well, this golf ball, because sometimes I, I feel like distance golf balls sound a little bit louder. I wonder if that's going to be the case with this. Right, let's see what it can do. Oh, that is perfect. <laughs> so fairway found and a good opening shot. I'm 225 yards away, so I'm gonna hit my two iron at it next. Stop. Stop. Oh, for a minute, we were putting for eagle, but I think it's just ran through the back. I mean, that might be what I find with this golf ball, it might be harder to stop on the greens, but first two shots were pretty good. I like that a lot. Okay, so this is where it ended up, just back of the green, and I've got a little eagle chip from the back. Let's uh, play a little bump and run with this one, actually. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, I've got this for birdie. <laughs> Maybe I've been using the wrong ball. 
what I'm going to do to get a real feel, because for me, when I'm using a different golf ball, it's the feel around the green, and certainly when I'm putting, that really is a massive factor for me. So I'm going to hit a few putts now, and then give you some feedback on what I think about the feel of this ball. Okay, after hitting some chips and putts, the ball's just a little bit harder than what I would normally be used to playing, and kind of what I'd expect, really. It's a distance ball, and therefore you generally sacrifice a bit of feel. The next challenge I'm gonna do is on this little par three, because again, even though this is a distance ball and doesn't claim to be high spin, you'd want a little bit of control from it. So let's hit some shots into here and see if I can still gain that control. So can the distance ball stop on a green? Well, the answer to that is yes. Like those stops really nicely into the green there. Granted, I hit them well with a nine iron, struck them pure to get that spin, but they stopped better than I expected them to do so. And for 10 pounds for a dozen golf balls, I can kind of start to see why this is a fairly all round golf ball so far. The big test though, remember this has got distance stamped on the side of it all over the box what's it going to be like on the distance test but first let's chop one in half and let's see what's inside the Shrixham distance ball okay i'm not expecting anything too crazy exciting it's a two-piece golf ball it says on the box and inside is exactly what we see we see the outer shell and then the inner core pretty standard you know it's got a nice bit of greener patterning going on pretty standard golf ball inside okay so after playing a few holes so far with the tricks and distance ball it's done better than i expected like it feels okay around the green a little bit harder than normal but not too bad the shots into that green the ball stopped quickly i have noticed a few little scuff marks on the ball that i've been testing but nothing horrendous for the price again it's not too bad it's done well however the one thing that i need to test because remember on the box, on the golf ball, it's stamped with the word distance. Surely that means something. Surely that means it's gonna go a long way. Well, let's find out if that's the case. I'm gonna hit my driver on GC quad, but first off, I'm gonna compare it and hit my Pro V1 golf ball first. Now, I'm not sure how close I can see these golf balls getting, because remember, the Pro V1 is the the premium golf ball it's like 40 pound a dozen you know three pound 50 plus per golf ball well this is under a pound a golf ball like how how close can it surely get i don't know i'm intrigued to find out i normally hit my pro v1 around about 280 yards of carry so let's do that first and then let's see what the shrixen can do So three shots with the Pro V1, I mustn't be having my longest day ever. I'm averaging carry at 275 yards. My longest being 278 yards. So first shot, 273 yards. That wasn't my best one, that was 270 carry.
So can I see why the Shrixen Distance Golf Ball is one of the best selling golf balls on Amazon, one of the best selling golf balls in golf shops and pro shops around the world? Well, yes, I can. Is it as long as a Pro V1? Yeah, it is. Is it great value? Yeah, absolutely it is. Is it as soft around the greens? No, not really. Does it spin as much as a Pro V1 or a premium ball? No, it doesn't. Is it as durable? Well, again, no, it isn't. But is it an all round good golf ball for the price? Yes, I think it really is.